Hi guys and welcome to Plucky Squire. I've been waiting for this game for quite a while now. It's a new game, brand new technically, came out two days ago from Devolver Digital. And it is just perfect. So cute, so adorable, and it has a very cool mechanics. So I hope you have some of your tea or coffee or breakfast or any other type of food. And you can join me on this adventure. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Racky. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax So cute. Okay. Roll. Oh, I even have a jump. Okay, you will worry about this. Okay, very simple so far. This was a house of the good wizard Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad. He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. A mini quest. Woo-ha! You take care of the goblins and I'll haul the wax back here for ya. Oh yeah, there will be goblins. No sweat for you though, right chat? I hope this is the silent protagonist because I don't know what kind of voice sh he should have. The entrance to the wood beckoned. Okay, so tutorial. Ooh! What are these for? Is it like a currency? Goblins ambled ahead. Can, like an experience or currency, I think. Okay. Hit everything. Can I cancel my attack with... Okay! Awesome, I can cancel my attack with the roll, which is always nice. What is in here? Secrets? 
The gate swung open for the plucky squire. <sighs> Honey Peak. Okay. But there was a thing on the right. I thought I am uncovering a secret. Okay, can I go back? The plucky squire leapt nim nimbly onwards. <gasps> now this looked really quite precarious. We can do it. Jot took a deep breath and he off he leapt. A goblin! Okay, so jump attack deals more damage. On the top of the honey peak, the view is incredible. Now, that right there is a massive owl. That's some tower, that is. Whoa, that honey badger eating Benny's bee honey. Be on your toes, Jot. A hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Honey badgers are fucking insane. They, ha they fear nothing. Oh heck, here we go! A boss fight. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. You're prepared <laughs> for a dust up. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. I see how it is. Jab hook. Nice throwback, nice throwback. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. Ah, uh, back in the hive feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my bees, wax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Man, return us, Benny. He could really do with some of the beeswax if you have some spare. Mm, for sure, Pip, my man. I owe you guys. Here you go. Compliments to the whiz. The fuck? Huh? What's going on? What's with all that ominous darkness? It's a cat with a cool voice. <gasps> Down they fell. Face plants are my favorite types of fails. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yeah, it's Hump Grump, all right. I always, always up to treacherous trickery. That one. There is something rather odd about the magic he used, and this is not usually how the story goes, you know. That is to say, um. Forget about it. Harumph! It is a job for the plucky squire, Jot. Humgrump is a tome, uh, tome tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bother. 
Hello. So many people. Jesus. It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey Jot. Oh no, it's a lady. Hey Jot! We've been to another humgrub situation, huh? Manbeer gave me this the skinny? That Weasley wizard is a tom is a tom tower. You kids head over there and Jot put a stop to Humgrump's malarkey. I'll took I look into that strange green magic and have a donut. And but that's by the by. Later. Goodbye and good luck. Although you never really needed Jot. No lie, I'm pumped and going to get to see the plucky squire in action. Kapow! Lead the way, Jot. More light bulbs. All the light bulbs. To Tom Tower. Hmm. And so the plucky squire set off to the Tom Tower. Okay, are you an enemy? Should I feel bad for attacking you? I got a scroll. You got a new piece of artwork. Press X to show in gallery. Oh, oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Take a look. What, who is that handsome fella? A spring in his step. A gleam in his plucky eye. The gate swung open. What the? Okay. So cool. On guard! Die, you demons! Your cursed goblins! Nice! You always have your word with words. You always have your word. Jesus Christ! You always have your way with words, Jot. Greetings, brave warrior. My name is Martina. Nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down some fearsome enemies and I slash prices. Let me show what I have for sale. Sword throw badge. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. Hard scroll. Why that bow? Okay, um, sure. <laughs> well now, time to practice throwing your sword, Jod. Oh, okay, so it's gonna go for it's gonna go further out if I leave it, but if I do it, do it like it can be a very short throw. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Good going. If you want to keep your training, check out the check out the board. Otherwise, leave uh, leave the v what? Otherwise, leave via the exit at the bottom of the page. Okay. Oh, can I? It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check back in again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will serve you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. No, 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 no. Good. Yes. 
I want to... <laughs> okay, I want to have all the artwork. For a second there, I thought she will teleport. Oh, I can... That's cool. I think I can... No. Okay, I for a second there I thought that I can reflect it. Oh, okay. I kidnapped a kid. You found the lost glitch bird. It will return to its homeland. Well, there it is, that mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Wow. Not sure the ground should be doing this. Boy. Oh, bother. Chapter 2. That Tone was a short tower. That was a short chapter. Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails, when suddenly they were grabbed and hoisted up. By a by jazz who? goblin. By Thrash. <laughs> Thrash was a mountain troll. And George and Violet's childhood friend. They were friends with everyone. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Trash! Who oh boy! You really saved our skins and we're happy to see you. Triple drop something something. I didn't read, I skipped too, too quickly. I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to the Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there is more than one route to Tome Tower. Let's go down to the ground. Yeah! Huh? This is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead us, can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. Yeah. Is it a Plinko machine? Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like a playing Plinko. Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, so I can also kill them Mario style, just jumping on them. Hi, Thrush. And here was Trash. Okay. Nice climbing, dude. Where is the pilot? Okay. You both go down that cliffside with banging style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know I did feel rather graceful, sort of like hopping, hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down to the ground. Let's get onto the thumb tower. Lead the way, Plucky Spire. Okay, our party grows, and I don't. Look at those bouncing boulders! They should just be vanishing into the thin air. Oh, it's so cool, you can see them popping out from the book and into the 3D world. Major, majorly weird. No. no. Oh. 
two tone power. A ball! It looks angry. Good job, Donut is wearing red. Phew! Jot wearing, Jot's wearing red. Is it red? I suppose kinda red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that pretty. So I guess. Can I defeat it? Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Justice Choir. Oh, it's a mini bird again. Mini bird. Give me the key. What is in there? Give me all your secrets, man. Hold up. Is that Moonbeard? He looks much more like petite than usual. Oh no, that's not Bird Moonbeard, Scratch. That's Mini Bird. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'll find him at Moonbeard's house, helping him out. Today it looks like he's uh, out and about. Hey Moonbeard, what's cooking? Yo, you'll need a key if you want to be journeying and onward. If you walk to the right, if you walk to the right here, you just might find one. Free advice from old Mini Beard. Thanks, Mini Beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and Mini Beard's around, always, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. I am wondering because as of now we are in 16 by 9 and technically when the game opened it was 21 by 9 so the resolution or the aspect ratio of my screen and I'm wondering if this is gonna continue or if it's gonna change so I'm not quite sure how should I record it I can cheese the game I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mini Beard, dude. Here was a secluded forest. Is it a giant cat? Uh, greetings, travelers. Three. My name is Topsy. Almost rhymed. Hi, Topsy. I see you're on a quest of some kind, you know, Topsy may be able to help you, but there is something you could perhaps assist me with first, namely my tummy. It's empty. I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see, and the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat, which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. A cat shouldn't be parted with her biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh. That would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There is a word in that sentence just there that might be the key to all those landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. Cool. So we will just remove the forest. Hmm. 
first, all the light bulbs. Let's explore a little bit because if we... I know I can change it with the ruins. But this is gonna basically destroy... Jot found the top of this kit. That's cool. Can I take them? And why are you here? This forest be dense. Difficult to push a thing through it. But the path might be easier going all around if the forest wasn't a forest. Weird, th weird thought. It's so strange, man. Okay, let's make it into the ruins. Can I just liberate it like that? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. It's a very interesting little game. It's quite original. I mean, I don't think I played before a game that was... doing like this puzzle changes in real life, I think? You know, Baba is you, sure, for, for sure. Ah, okay. uh, I see, I see. So these biscuits should go here. Why did I go this way? Oh, come on, man. You can do better. Perfect. Jesus. I hope this cat will appreciate it. Well, he will give us a key, so... That's good, that's good. No, no, no. This way, yes. Hey man, your biscuits. My biscuits, how I have dreamed of this moment. Travelers, you have my serious thanks. The prospect of the snacks brings a smile to my face. Oh, he was upside down. What the fuck, I didn't notice that until now. This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. More money. Two tons. Still on our way. What do you have now? We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Oh fuck, the prices went up significantly. Moonbeard, cool. Jesus, man. You were supposed to be slashing prices. I guess inflation hits us all, right? Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon. Loomed Cho Tower. Dun dun dun. Oh, there is something on the left. Wow, it got dark around here pretty fast. One second, I'm pouring myself a tea. Um, excuse me? I broke the game. 
Okay, let's maybe load this and get back. Um, okay, okay. It fixed itself. Whoa, booming bolts. Very metal. Okay, that was that was strange. The strange electricity was spawning. Holy shit, man. That wasn't what I thought it's gonna do. Okay. Do your thing. Hey, man. That sounds a little bit unfair. Yeah. Oh. This one is a big one. Are you gonna spawn the smaller ones? I bet you're gonna spawn spawn smaller ones. He did not. Ooh. Five okay. It will return to its home with joy in its little heart. So lovely. They give me a lot of health. The damage upgrade is pulling its weight. Are tanky. Give me that. It's a bookworm. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to the to the Tom Tower? Yep, that's where we're heading. Best beware, a dark wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Unmitigated Unmitigatedly obliterated. Oh yeah, wrecked. Hmm. Is there another way across the waters? Jesus, such long words. I'm too stupid for them. But I like the the fact that there is a actual bookworm in the book. No, 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 no. A cave entrance, promising, promising. Real gloomy. Dig the acoustics though. Lead on, Jod, my dude. Your plucky glow will light away. Oh, okay, so they just infused into me. Or fused with my body. Okay. What is this squelching? Like that. Oh, okay, it opened all the. Wham bam! Can I even. <laughs> okay, for some reason I can. And that reason is I don't have double jump. But there's a secret for there, of course, sure. Jot explored the impossible cave. This one looks like a like a way out, so let's try this way first. Oh, it's just straight up death. Mm, cool. Let's leave. Oh, there's more. Oh, 
Okay, so this is death. Do you think it just went dark because the sun set on the outside? Would you look at that? We crossed the river! On we go! Listen, man. Well, listen, mom. Uh, I don't... I cannot afford the shit you're selling. You're so expensive. You were supposed to slash some prices. Can you do it for me? Uh, okay. Maybe from here. Nope. Can I... Like... Do this, and then it will. Ooh, that might be useful. We meet again. Ah. Spin attack, sword throw upgrade. You can. Okay, let's get some art. Sure. That looks nice. Okay. I think I need to save up. Otherwise, I will never be able to get these things. But then I will miss out on the art. Choices, choices. Wow, there! All those books! Really, really, really... Pretty cool visual, though! I have a feeling that they will start flying at me at some point. Because it's always like that. This book has... these books had been purposely stacked. The big blocks of books. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Let's go, guys. I have a feeling that they should be giving out more than just one. One light bulb. I think that my range is now longer. Okay, can I go there? Can, is it actually... Yes, yes I can. Awesome! Oh my god, so cute. Give me nothing. So unfair, unfair. Ooh, okay, so the books were are, were stacked or scattered. Hi, mean beard. I know what to do, so I'm gonna ignore you. I did not expect that to happen. Okay. 
Right. Take it. Just... No, I can't. I... Why can't I jump? Over, I mean. I can jump. But... Okay, dude. What do you have to say? Now you're blocked by a pesky hole. If you pushed a block into it, you could get across, you know? Just a f But there is no block to push. Where is anything I can interact with? What the fuck is going on? Secrets? Anything in here? my god it took me embarrassingly long time get in the hole Jesus that was that wretched fool shot he will get what he deserves uh Okay, that's a bit creepy. That was not the best of me. <laughs> not the best performance. No, no, no. Mm. Please, no. Let's forget that the screen exists. Honey Peak, and now the Tome Tower. Okay, okay. So this is where it all kicks off. A historical location, and no mistake. Huh? <laughs> uh, well, hello, and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are, Dome Tower. It looks like Humbrum is still up there in the, in the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. <clears throat> we'll st stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This one is one of the dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know. During your big showdown, you don't want us two do dorks mooching around in the background. Nope. We will mooch down down here instead but well we'll cheer you we'll be cheering you on the way all the way down mooching and cheering jot that's more our style go get the champ okay let me just get everything else first go on jot you've got this in the bag humpy grumpy is about to fall off his wall i'm not going to wish you luck you don't need it you're the plucky squire Okay. Our first real boss. I wonder if it's also gonna Jot be made his way up the steep steps. A boxing match. I don't think so. I think every single boss will have a different Ah The Plucky Plucky Squire. 
I have been waiting for you, so glad to see you made it to the Tomb Tower. You might be wondering what Hump Grump is doing here. Well, I had a hung grump. I had a hunch grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed. A book! It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because it's a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this drafted land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. Hard to believe? I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within a book, if you will. I read the book, it's very interesting. And in that you and that witch girl adventuring through the land and meeting up with the mountain troll making are your way up here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? Well, Plucky Squire wins. The Plucky Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. You win, as you always do. You know, this book is one of the series, and in each one of these books, you win every single stinking time. Because you're the plucky squire, the hero of the story, the boy who can do no wrong, always victorious, even the little stories you write, beloved by all, infuriating, like a, like a mosquito in my cardigan. Yes, that's an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain. The talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten by the hero. At least this is how it had been until now. But maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe, maybe even Humgrub could get a little glory for once if the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book, if he were to be ejected. Hey, my sword! Oh yeah! Bye bye! <laughs> Can't we just open the book and go back in? Yes! That's why I really like the idea for this game. It looks awesome! Okay, so I can go there. Where else can I go? Oh, where? Is there anything to discover? Okay, nope. So we are going up. Don't hit me. Dude. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It looks amazing. It kind of reminds me, because it's a toy, and you know, we are in a toy world, smalls, and so on. It reminds me of the... It Takes Two. Oh, hello. Is there someone out there? Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Sure. Hold Y and push L to open. Jesus Christ, I'm strong. Um, are you gonna be a... Oh, it's you. Do you remember me, Jot? We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit, from book to book. But you, Jot, you're a character from this, uh, from a book, and you shouldn't be really out there. It's Hamgram's magic that blasted you out of the page, and onto this desk, isn't it? Well... We'll have you back to the, in your book, Jot. It is of utmost, utmost paramountcy. Jesus. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to see the left and we'll try to find one. Why are those... Okay. Why are those grapes and carrots? Interactable. Ooh, hello. 
Hello there again. Do you see that magical spirit green thing? That's a metamagical portal, that is. It seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between the realms. But Jot, you've already made the leap once. Maybe you can do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. Okay, I need to hold it. Remarkable. Some of that metamagic must have rubbed off, rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Now, this world here is a sketch that uh, that was drawn by the occupant of this room and the owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over the desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. Okay. Low energy, too hungry to move, too hungry to converse. Please, give me a snack. So he's a rabbit, so... Where are Benford over there? He looks famished. There is no nourishment to be found in his sketch. But maybe there is something out there in the desk. You know, maybe you can bring items between the worlds. It's worth a shot. I already did. So... now? Will it work? Dude, I brought you a grape. Not good enough? Let's try carrot. Well, technically he's a bunny, so I think carrot would be nicer, right? Or should I take it, like, with me into the portal? Ooh, into the portal, okay. Uh, oh, the carrot is, looks very real, very uncanny. Exceptional. You really can bring items between realms. This might be handy. Feed me, Seymour. Come on, man. Okay, cool. Delicious. Carrots boost. Energy levels restored. Ugh. Am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Perfect. Ooh, oh my god. So cool. That was... That's so smart. And so good looking. get up there somehow. Oh, okay, I can see. I didn't notice that at first, but basically there is a thingy here. Yep. Perfect. So adorable. It reminds me, like, between It Takes Two and the newest Zelda game that they kinda promoted recently. Good going, young squire. I believe that it's the item that can help you get back to your walls and is further ahead. But listen, on your way out. On your way, may you run creepy, crawly. Coleoptera. Beetles. Sam likes to keep them as pets, you know, you see. Beware, Jot. Don't get eaten. It simply... It simply wouldn't do. <gasps> Jesus. Like, I love Devolver Digital. They... I don't think they released a game that was... bad. Or at least not the ones I know. They always... Always deliver. Um... Okay. No, 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 no. You can't see me. You hear? You see nothing. Please, please make the domino fall. By Tony Tungsten. It looks like a boss. Oh. Oh my god, my there is there was like a massive drift on my controller for a second there. Pick up. Oh, we 
we are gonna do it. Or maybe not. Ah, it worked. Okay, I see what I need to do. I see, I see you, game. I see you. like this no yeah oh I can just sneak it's gonna make me a little bit slower cool 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 the controls are tight in this game it's very good How do you expect me to do it? Oh, okay. You're just moving this way and back and forth. You whip your head back and forth. Chat! You made it? My fears have been all over. Dude, can you please stop with hard words? My fears have been allied. It seems like nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you're here, there is something that you really must observe. Ooh. It, these sketches of you, quite remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who draws this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in, the, in this room and is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he's very fond of your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this chat, to see how much you mean to him. Yeah, he's like a re real fanboy. But there's no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its end. It's pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Is the, the Sam basically drew in something for me to win the game? Is this gonna be... A thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there is a piece of paper there. Okay, let's. Let's take the route around. Come on, man. I'm trying to sneak. That was too close. Okay, so it just turns around in here. Okay, okay. I can deal with it. It has been dealt with. No. Oh, no. What? What do you want me to do here? I feel like I cheated a little bit. There's an invisible wall here. I'm not quite sure. Oh, come on. Okay, so I just went... <laughs> I just went out of bounds. 
Hmm. Nice. Nice. Speedrunners, take note of that. No. Can't see shit. Dude, what is this? Jod got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press LT or RT when the when next to the book to open it up. Okay, okay. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional procurement. Head back to your book post haste. I think you will find that the gauntlet will help you return home. One last thing before you leave. The stable Jod. It's very important. Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is the one who that Sam is one of the children, Jot. You know. As bookworms, we are able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and illustrator himself. He will create a series of very popular trillions books with very luc lucrative merchandise, tie-ins and brand in integrations. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he actually writes them. If Hamcrums take control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam and then who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Ham Grump. Basically, we are helping the guy to get rich. Sounds like a scam. What do I know? Bye bye. I don't know, maybe I will need it. It would be a shame if I needed it and then didn't have it with me. Oh, okay. It just disappeared. I think we will leave it here, because why not? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!